this question looks at three fairly typical simplify questions. Now in the first one we expand both brackets separately to get two lots of a plus two times three is six plus five lots of a take away five times one. Now two a plus five a is seven a and six take away five is of course one. So this becomes seven a plus one. In the second example we have a 5, there's no other integer so it stays as a 5. Now c to the power of 4 times c squared we add the powers so 4 plus 2 is 6 and then for the d's d squared times d cubed we add the powers again 2 plus 3 is 5 so the answer is 5 c to the power of 6 d to the power of 5. So the trick is to look at each letter individually and because we're timesing we add the powers. Now for the third one the best way here is to imagine this as 8 x minus 3 times x minus 3. That's what the squared means. All over 4 x minus 3 x plus 3. Now what we can see here is that there's an x minus 3 above and also below. So I can cancel out, like so. And to finish off, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So we're left with 2, bracket, x minus 3, all over x plus 3. And that is a fraction simplified as far as possible.